Hey there, it's Parker321. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the rotators function on Emergency Vehicle Creator version 2.0. This series is going to be focusing on only the specialty lights and how to control the chassis plugin because the ELS creator of the plugin is basically identical to the old Emergency Vehicle Creator and I do not see a need to make a tutorial video on that. So let's get into it. So obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Redon Tech Plugins menu, which is EVC V2, and then open up EVC V2. And then you can go ahead and go up to the Rotators button at the top, because we're going to be going over Rotators in this video. And you'll see that by default we have one Rotator with one angle, but all completely blank. What we want to do is we want to name this properly. In my case, I have it named as Rotator 1 in the vehicle, so I'm just going to leave it as Rotator 1. Okay, so let's go over how to use it. So to use the rotators, we have what are the rotators individually, which is each one of these. These are both the rotators. We have this preview enable button, which when we hit the play button, will make the preview play. And then we have our actual desired angles. Now to use the desired angles, we can go ahead and set the color. In my case, I'm uh red and i'm going to set the angle to something like 45 degrees and i'm going to set the velocity to 0.1 and then if i hit play it will go and do exactly what i told it to do however it's going to stop exactly at 45 degrees because that's where i told it to stop so if you wanted to go back we add another one and we say or for example we can set the same color and we can set it back to zero and the velocity of 0.1 and you will see it will go back and forth. However, if we don't like the velocity, we can change it to 0.75. Or whatever velocity you want. I'm actually going to change this to be greater than equal like 90 maybe. And you'll see it will just be back and forth. Now, let's say you don't want it to go to a specific angle and you just want it to rotate forever. This is also very simple to do. We have rotator 2. Set the preview to that. Set the color uh, to blue and set the angle to a very large number, for example, 1 billion. Or in this case, I'm just going to do it by nines. And this basically means that the plugin will be incapable of ever getting it to stop because it's just going it, it wouldn't theoretically be possible for it to reach that limit because you probably run out of time in your own life before it ever reached that limit. So just by setting it up to a very high angle, it will never ever stop. And we can set our velocity and hit play, and it will just keep rotating forever. The rotators are really as simple as that. Now obviously you want to go ahead and save your rotators. Um, so I can save it as like uh, zero number one. Please save. And then I can go ahead and export the save. I'm going to click on the port, uh, the 2024 set the utility or go in here and click on it like chassis plugin select and then in stages create pattern number one and overwrite and now this will have exported the pattern out onto the vehicle and when we hop in game using the j oh i forgot my avatar is like this um you're not going to talk about that <laughs> in the car hit j on my keyboard and it starts rotating um However, you will notice it is kind of rotating in the wrong direction. So how do we go about fixing that? Now there's a couple of ways we can go about this. Um, the easiest, honestly, is uh, just adding a part inside of it. Naming this part inverse exactly like this. Positioning this part to be the exact same spot as its parent. And setting the size to something small. It's just here. And then set this transparency to zero. Okay, and now when we and now what happens when I hit four on my keyboard, you will or control four or I open up the rotate tool. And if you don't see this little L on the side of it, go ahead and hit control L, and uh, you'll see that little L. I don't know if it matters anymore because of the pivot point update, but just because it used to matter, I'm I'm just gonna say you want to have that L there. Now what you want to do is. Because you can see this a blue line, this blue circle, this blue circle is the axis of rotation. So because it's in this rotation like this, it's going to go like that. So 
So if we simply grab this red line and rotate it 90 degrees, you'll see that our blue line is now in this direction, and so that way it rotates in that direction. So yeah, the control L does matter, um, because that L there means, you can see without that L, it's still up here, but with the L, it's down there. So you want the L there, and we can just duplicate this and drag this into the other one. You don't even need to reposition it if you don't want to. We anchor these parts, so make sure that you have those parts anchored, because that inverse point kind of determines the entire axis of rotation. And you'll see when I turn it on, it rotates fine. Other than the fact that I actually forgot that you do indeed need to set the position. I thought you didn't. Whatever. My brain. Um, so make sure that you have it positioned exactly in the center. And then we can... And... Yeah, everything's working. Now, there is one more thing that I would like to fix, obviously. And that is... This is not rotating. It's only the light itself which honestly is not what we want. So, so in order to fix the fact that the rest of the parts aren't actually rotating with the rotator itself, we're going to simply drag the two rotator models into the MISC section of the vehicle. And under each of these, we are going to, or sorry, under each of the rotators in the light bar, we're going to create two weld constraints. And we're going to set these weld constraints part 0 to the rotator 2. And we're going to set their part 1s to um part that they're linked to so the navigator rotator that would be the, that would be the metal in the union parts same thing for rotator one we're going to set their part one or sorry part zero and then part one like so and then after you do this when we play the game play and we turn it on you will see that the part itself now actually rotates so you will see however that it is kind of rotating off center um, this can be adjusted using the inverse part. Um, it, maybe if I move it like a bit more backwards, possibly. Uh, and it will rotate more on center. Or we can also use... Um, we can use the align tool that Roblox has built. Like that. Full part. I'll do Y axis. And we're going to align. And so what should happen after we do that is it should rotate around the metal itself because the inverse part is um, inverse to the actual rotator. And so that, that can be used to adjust the position of rotation. And you will see now that it rotates perfectly around the center. And everything's rotating just fine. Anyways, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you still have any questions about rotators, go ahead and ask in our Discord. And I'll see you guys in the next one.